Our Hebrew Bible reading for Sunday is the part of Genesis where Adam and Eve are walking in the garden after they have eaten the apple from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. After they have awakened in themselves the illusion of separation separation from God, separation from each other, separation from all that is, a kind of consciousness that they are naked and that they are missing something in that nakedness. And they've put fig leaves on to clothe themselves. And they are walking in the garden, hiding in the garden actually, and God is walking in the garden as God always does in the evening. In the cool breeze of the evening, God walks with Adam and Eve in the garden. But now suddenly everything is different. And they feel separation and fear and shame and they're hiding from God. God is walking in the cool breeze, in the breath of the evening, the Ruha, spirit, breath, wind, air, oneness of being. Adam and Eve are hiding. As we practice Lectio Divina now, I will read the text three times. Listen. In Lectio Divina we take something from outside the Word, in this case, and we take it into ourselves in meditation, in contemplation, and let it settle in us. Similarly to taking food, we take it from outside, we take it into our bodies and it is converted in us and becomes part of us. Lectio Divina is like this. So we take the words into us and let them settle in us, grow and transform, become part of us. That separation from the word that we imagine is dissolved. and we become conscious of our non-separation of belonging each time you hear the word or phrase that is calling to you stay with it and each time let it go deeper in you So I read now for the first time. This time, what does it mean? What does it mean to you today? Adam and Eve heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you?
He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. God said, who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, the woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me the fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, Cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks to you, O oh God. This phrase, the Lord your God, the Hebrew words are the, the letters which often stand in the place of a name for God in the Hebrew Bible. Yahweh, Ha, Ve, four letters from the verb to be, but, uh, but not exactly he is, she is, I am. It's a word that isn't said in Hebrew. And Hebrew people, when they see it, when they're reading scripture, say Adonai, which is translated often the Lord. But these letters have a a sense of existence. I am that which is. And Elohim, the second word, which tra is translated here, God, is the plural word used often again in the Hebrew Bible to name God containing male and female, El and Ella. So when we say the Lord God, we're referring to the source of all being, existence itself. The one breath, the one being, of all that is. As I read this for the second time, just let the words that are speaking to you rise. Whether it's a word or a phrase, stay with it. Let it go deep. Chew over it in meditation. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He 
he said, I heard the sound of you in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. God said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me. And I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. So I read now for the third time. Let those words or that phrase go deeper now. What is God saying to you? Let these words transform in you, absorb them, they're part of you. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze, and the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked and I hid myself. He said, who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, the woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me the fruit from the tree and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, what is this that you have done? The woman said, the serpent tricked me and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head and you will strike his heel. <laughs> 